Okay, good evening. Um, so I'm going to make this video to discuss in more detail the final project for the English 200. Um, so you will in this have uh, one, two, three, four, four different components that are included. Um, none of them are a research paper. So I'm not actually asking you to write specifically a paper um, for me uh, in, in the traditional sense. There are four different components. Those components will be a close reading, um, an annotated bibliography, a topic proposal, and a creative writing component um, where you will write a poem and you will conduct a small analysis and comparison of that uh, to Max Ritvo's collection. Um, so I'm gonna go through these one by one and try to give you a sense of what they all look like and what they'll all be. Um, so we'll start with the close reading, which is uh, you have your first one of those due at the end of this coming week on uh, June, I believe that's 12th. So we'll be working on that through or maybe the 13th. So we'll be working on that um, all this week, right? So that's you are choosing a poem from the poetry packet. You are going to conduct a close reading. There are multiple videos there going over the Gwendolyn Brooks poem. I'll have more close readings to post over this week. So you're gonna see examples as well as example essays. Um, so you can get a sense of what these actually look like. Um, but there's plenty of video on that right now. So your close reading will come from Max Rixbo's book. Uh, you will pick more than likely either one poem that you focus on that you would theoretically focus on a whole lot uh, for your close reading. You could also pick sections of smaller poems um, that are similar in nature and that's fine too. So you could just try to show me more breadth. There's no wrong way to do that. Um, but it will come from this book and it will be a, an analysis approach which we've been doing and will continue to do throughout there. So that's part one of your final project. Um, so part two is the annotated bibliography, which there's video up there now about that one. The, the research you do will help you better understand this collection, um, some of the poems individually. Uh, the author, right, watch that video. So an annotated bibliography, you'll have eight sources, all of them uh, geared toward helping you better understand Max Ripto's collection. So um, well, I'll leave that in a moment. A topic proposal. Um, a, a topic proposal is relatively a short document, usually about two pages long. Um, yours may be even shorter than that, maybe more like a page to page and a half. And in there, you would be in a normal semester, you would present that to me, oh, I, I would say a month before the paper is due. And it's generally just trying to give me a sense of what direction you're going to go in. It includes things like what poems you're going to discuss, what some of the research has shown so far for you, uh, where do you think you're going to head with your, with your conversation and your argument. Um, and what sort of problems do you foresee in encountering and where do you plan on going next? So it's very much a proposal of an idea. Uh, it's still it's still academic, it's still formal in that way, but there isn't necessarily, um, you're not like proving your point in that when you're suggesting what sort of evidence you think would be interesting to include uh, as you move forward. So that's the third, third, third component. The fourth component is a creative writing component. And the first thing I want to say with that one is that, yeah, you, you will be writing poetry. Um, it'll be, you'll be using stylistic uh, components that you have noticed inside of your close reading uh, of his work and trying to incorporate those into something that you do that's original. Um, so the first thing I want to say after that is that I'm not you know, grading your poetry. I'm not going to go in there and, and, and you know, comment on it and give it a negative grade if I don't think you wrote a good poem. I'm gonna have you attached with that um, a short analysis, explanation of the moves that you made in your poem or poems uh, that are similar to Ritvo and why you think they're similar to Ritvo and uh, why that's interesting and um, what you learned from that process. So nothing, uh, these are the four components. Um, none of them are going to be exceptionally long. I'm not trying to to have a lot of paperwork here at the end of the semester. The, probably the longest thing you'll turn in will be the annotated bibliography section of that one. Um, and maybe depending on how you do the poetry, that could be a little bit longer. But there's supposed to be some flexibility with this. There's supposed to be some movement with this one. Um, a couple of other things here real quick, just to kind of get a sense of what we're trying to do here. Uh, the close reading that you turn in this week and we work on, right? This goes in for 10% of your overall grade. It's meant to be a first step for making sure that you do really well on this next assignment. So um, if you don't nail it, that's okay. You can contact me, we can work our way through it, watch the videos again, uh, hopefully get you to a place where you get a better understanding of that one. So that's the reason we double up on the close reading. And to the bibliography, I'm looking entirely to see how you research. We're already starting that process. Right? So your response journals, we're gonna start including annotations. Um, if you wanna have read writ though and start trying to gear your annotations for home homework toward this particular text, I think that's a great idea. Um, you, you don't have to, and I may sometimes request that you don't, you know, for something separate. But 
not a bad idea to, uh, to start thinking about the book. Same thing with the topic proposal and the creative writing. Um, what it all boils down to is that the sooner you start looking through this book, um, with those four reincarnations, the more time you're going to have to start giving some, some ideas and, and thinking about research and all of that. Um, the last thing I'm going to say before I, I sign off here and start the next video is um, I do not know your uh, connection to the library system. I don't know how well you're familiar with it, how much research you've done in the past. Um, using Wofford's technology. So if you need a video on that, or um, please let me know, and I'll be happy to create that content. But if I don't hear back from you, I'm going to assume that you're pretty comfortable with that, uh, and I won't make an explicit video toward that work. So that is the explanation of the final project. The assignment sheet, um, I'm still tweaking, but I'll post that on the Moodle as well, so you'll have access to that. And then um, pretty much everything else, if they have questions, as always, send me an email. We'll see what we can do. All right, thank you.